Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to diagnose the side mirrors from the switch, wiring all the way from here to the side mirror and side mirror actuator itself. Uh, first of all, let's have a look at the wiring diagram for the side mirrors. Uh, this wiring diagram is from a Nissan. So first of all, what we see on the diagram, we have a main fuse up here. This is the side mirrors main switch. We have obviously two actuators, one for the right side and the other one for the left. And this is the main ground uh, for, for the system. So as you see up here, this main fuse is providing the power for the whole system. So it means if your side mirrors are not working at all, the right and left, none of them are working at all. So this fuse is very important to be checked at the very first place. And normally it's installed inside the interior fuse box. So sometimes the fuse is not named exactly for the side mirrors. It could be uh, a common fuse for a couple of different systems. You want to make sure that this fuse is exactly okay when your side mirror is not working at all. So if your side mirror is working partially but one function, you need to know how to perform the diagnostics. That's why. I'm going to explain uh, the diagram right now, and then we go for step-by-step -step diagnostics on the car. As you see on each door mirror actuators, we have three wires. One wire is a common wire and another two. And we have two actuators inside, one for the left and right adjustment and the other one for the up and down adjustment. And inside the switch itself, we have left and right selection when you select a right side mirror or the left one you are actually changing uh, this switch and basically when you select r for the right side these two switches will change the position to the right together and the other one here we have right left up and down adjustment for example when you are trying to adjust the side mirror to the right you will change the switch position to r here and then here and here as well. So it means all uh, these three will change the position together. And this one is the ground for providing the ground for the whole side mirror. Of course, if this ground is not provided, the entire side mirror is not going to work at all. But let's have a look at one function of the side mirror to see how power goes through the side mirror switch to the actuator and how ground is provided. For example, here I'm going to show you how to adjust the side mirror, the right one, to up direction. Uh, when I want to select the right side mirror, first of all, on here on the left and right adjustment, the switch will be set to the right, as what you see here. And the next one is going to be to up position, right? So it means all these three will be adjusted to up. So everything is ready to provide the power and ground to the uh, up and down actuator on the right side mirror. And let's see how positive will be provided right now from the fuse. So it comes to the switch and then from here to the right side, all the way to the up and down actuator. So this is basically how positive is provided to the side mirror, but we need the ground as well. The other side of the actuator needs the ground to operate. So this is how ground is provided. All good. Of course, for any other position, uh, you can just try to practice just like this for the positive and negative flow. And when positive and negative are provided, you actually can adjust the side mirror to up position just like this. Let's go on the car and try to perform the diagnostic on the car and then on the actuator itself. My side mirror switch is here. I can take it out just like this. So there is one connector in the back for the side mirror switch. I'm going to disconnect the connector. So I have some wires here. For example, if I'm doing the troubleshooting for the right side, as you remember, I have three wires out of all these wires for the right side mirror. Let's just disconnect the connector. 
All right, connector is already disconnected. These three wires for the right side, side mirror are gonna go from here to another connector inside the door. So I have already removed the door trim to show you this connector. As you see, three wires, these three wires are coming from the switch. These three wires are gonna travel all the way to side mirror. So basically what I can do, I can check the wiring from this connector to the other connector inside the door or if I wanna make sure if the switch itself is okay or not, I can do something else. I can actually provide the power and ground to the actuator from this switch by this one. I'm using a nine volt battery, which is quite safe. And these two props to actually, to protect the connector as well. I can provide the positive and negative from here to the side mirror to check the operation. So if basically if you provide the power and ground from here and your side mirror works, it shows you that the switch is not okay. But if you provide the power and ground from here and the side mirror is not working, you can move on to this connector on the door side to provide the power and ground from here as well. Basically, we are trying to find the faulty area. So the procedure is gonna be like this. You need to find those wires for the side mirror operation. So if I provide the positive and negative between these two pins, I'm actually gonna move the side mirror to up. And if I change the polarity between, if I change the polarity, This confirms that all the wiring from here to the side mirror is okay, and I need to change the uh, and I need to change the side mirror switch just right here. But I'm going to show you all other steps to check the other part of the wiring and the actuator inside the side mirror as well. So right now, for checking the left and right movement, I need to provide the positive and negative between these two pins. So as you see, side mirror is moving to the right. And if I change the polarity, it should move to the left, which is moving to the left already. So this is how we can check the uh, horizontal and uh, vertical movement of the side mirror. But basically, if you provide the positive and negative here and you have no operation, then you need to go to this point, the other checkpoint, the connector between a uh, switch and the side mirror. This is the connector which is located at the middle. I disconnect the connector first. Okay, so you disconnect the connector. This end of the connector is going to the, is going to the side mirror. So again, I can provide the positive and negative here. So as you see, I have three wires. These two are actually for the horizontal movement and these two for the vertical movement. So these two pins, these two wires, the first one and the last one, they are for the uh, vertical movement and these two are for the horizontal movement so if i provide the positive if i provide the positive and negative to these two wires as you see mirror is moving down and if i change the polarity it should go up which is going up already all right this was the second checkpoint. So if you apply the positive and negative to here and everything starts working as normal, it means the wiring from here, from this connector to this connector inside the car might be damaged. So you need to check the wiring. Most likely the problem is somewhere there. But if you apply the positive and negative here, just like what I did, and still your side mirror is not working normally the problem could be the actuator inside the side mirror you need to remove the side mirror remove the actuator and check it out because inside the side mirror you have actually two actuators one for the horizontal the other one for the vertical movement we need to see which one is faulty because instead of replacing the whole side mirror you can actually change that actuator which is faulty so i'm going to show you how to check that actuator as well this is the actuator as you see we have two connections to the from the actuator to the mirror itself one for horizontal movement the other one for vertical movement so basically inside this one there is one actuator here one actuator there 
So for confirming the operation of the actuators, so you can actually use same nine volt battery and this two. So right here in the back, I have two pins for actually each actuator. So I insert this one here, the other one just right in there. And check it out. So you see the actuator is working and this one is turning out. And if I change the polarity, it's gonna go actually back in. So this confirms that this actuator is working just fine. So this confirmed that the actuator is working just fine, but if any of these two actuators is not working, you can actually remove the case and replace that actuator that I'm gonna show you right now. You can just remove the case like this. You can remove the case like this. And these are exactly our actuators, one for horizontal and the other one for the vertical movement. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you find the video helpful. Uh, please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.